Hello, hello there. Let's talk about, um, hmm, still running apps in the background. That means if you use your iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max for a long period, there will be a lot of apps which are you using, of course, but there are a lot of apps which are not using anymore or not so often. But if you start an app, for example, and then go and uh, switch this app again off by going back to the home screen, the app is not shut down. No, she is running or it is running in the background. It continues running in the background. So how uh, we can um, see what's going on in the background, we swipe up to the center and then we can see here in the background are still running apps. Okay, that's good for a fast access to them, of course. But if you do this 100, 2000, 20,000 times with your apps, because a lot of apps are on the App Store, of course, it is so full in the background. Additionally, these apps are um, taking some uh, speed a little bit that speed down your iPhone. Only a little, but it, it, it speeds down, of course. And on Android devices, for example, are uh, a button to shut down the apps, all the apps in one go. But Apple does not have this. We can shut down the apps which are running in the background by swipe up and switch them off, as you can see. So maybe once a month you should perform this. And after this, there are closed all apps or the apps which you are not going to use in the background. This will accelerate a little bit your phone, of course. And you can make more. If you push and hold um, your fingers on a button of your uh, free area on your screen, it will go in the edit mode, for example. Or you push and hold one of your apps and then you can have a syntax information or edit the home screen. And if you like to edit the home screen, for example, you can um, navigate your apps as you like. And additionally, you can um, go and make folders. For example, we make a folder with iTunes here and this one. So, and it can, you can rename that as a cool folder, for example. And this is now the cool folder. Here we are. That's a folder that's organized. And this speed up your workflow a little bit. And if you like to save space, you can push and hold and remove the app. And then are two options. We removing from the home screen, our app, removing from the home screen, that will keep the app in our app library. So it is already on your phone, but not in or on the home screen. Or you can delete the app. Okay, first step is remove it from the home screen. Where is the app library? On the right side, okay? You can navigate to it on the right side. And here the app is still there. To delete them, push again, add to home screen back or delete it. We go and add it back to the home screen and there it is again. You can remove them the, a whole time by delete the app. Deleting this app will also delete its status on your smartphone. So goodbye. You can already um, take back this app from the app store anytime. If you, for example, have a mail app and um, this mail has emails in it. Of course, the emails will delete it from the iPhone, but not from the server, not from the cloud. That means if you, for example, delete the mail app um, and you re-download the app again and synchronize it with your account again, the emails will be back, okay? But 
if you have, for example, a recording or a picture which deleted from this phone, this is really deleted. Okay, so you can accelerate a little bit by swipe up, close the apps, make folders, and of course, delete apps which you not use so often. So you can speed up your fast iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max a little bit. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me and give me a positive feedback and I hope to see you again on my channel. Soon, soon.